Welcome back guys to another video. This time, let's talk about workhorse stock. So right now, it's not really doing so great. I'm recording this around Sunday. So let's talk about the overall options because it's pretty interesting. Currently, the stock is at $17. Past month, it's doing pretty terrible. In the past week, it's doing okay, but mostly staying flat, up 8%. It's not really too impressive for the overall stock since this is probably one of the most volatile stocks I have ever played. In the past three months, it looks like a pyramid. It looks like Virgin Galactic and Nikola Motors graph. There's a huge initial hype and huge surge of the stock, and then the stock is going down. Now, keep in mind, Workhorse may not just be a show horse, meaning that the USPS contract, which everyone right now is expecting, might actually land on Workhorse's plate. But then again, there's a possibility where it doesn't, and then the stock absolutely tanks. Right now, there's a lot of people out there placing massive bets on Workhorse to see whether the stock will go up and down, and everyone is trying to make some money. This is kind of like Small Street and Main Street's casino. And so far, if you check out the Workhorse options, this looks pretty interesting. I found this out using some of the unusual options activity tracker. Now, obviously, keep in mind, this doesn't mean one person bought it. It's most likely going to be a few people, but because the volume of this specific option is so low, like the buy, sell, buy, sell number is only like 999, we could assume that there's not that many people actually purchasing a strike price this far away. Now, this is a call for workhorse stock expiring January 15th, 2021, which means the USPS contract should actually happen before the end of December. And of course, these guys are pretty smart knowing that sometimes the deal might take very long and might actually come out like the last day of December, kind of like how AIMT announced the results literally at the last hour of like the last day of the month. So they actually picked January 15th, which is pretty smart. That's about two weeks out from the end of December. And so far, the implied volatility for this stock is absolutely insane at 147%. The higher the implied volatility, the higher the option price is. And so far, it's at $53 per contract. It's not expensive, but it's really inflated. For comparison, Apple's implied volatility is roughly 40 to 50%. SPY's implied volatility is roughly 20 to 30%, meaning that their option prices correlate with the stock price really well and is really realistic. Whereas Workhorse, it's really unrealistic. It's like being inflated by like a giant pump. But the open interest is what's really interesting. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so the open interest is the amount of contracts opened in people's brokerage accounts. These are contracts open and not being exercised. Essentially speaking, these contracts will be in people's fidelity. TD Ameritrade, even Robinhood accounts, currently 11,000 open interest. But the really crazy thing is, if you check out the other contracts, like the $44 contract, the open interest is really low at 388. The volume is even lower at 13, meaning no one is really buying strikes this far out with a strike price this high. Meaning someone or maybe a group of people are betting really big on Workhorse because if they do get the USPS contract, it's gonna be absolutely huge. If you check out Workhorse, people have been saying that the stock could be soaring 200% if it wins the USPS contract, which is roughly gonna be $8.1 billion. $8.1 billion, well, that's four times the valuation of the whole entire company. Company is now at $17. If it goes up 200%, we could be seeing the stock at roughly 40 to 50 bucks, which will essentially make these options in the money. And roughly, these contracts one of them is worth $53, and if they're in the money, they will be worth roughly $400 to $500-ish. So that is a lot of money. They're probably looking at 1,000, 2,000, maybe even 3,000% gain for this specific contract. And it seems like there's a lot of contracts being open for this one specific contract. It's a $600,000 bet that Workhorse hits $45, and it can't. Because if you look at the short squeeze and the short interest on the company, Remember, when you short a stock, you're essentially borrowing shares from someone else and you will be selling it right away. Thus, your main goal is to buy back the stock to close it because you have an obligation to buy back shares because you borrowed it from someone else. 
but you want to preferably buy it back at a low price and you make that net difference, that's called short in stock. It means you're a massive bear. When you buy a stock, you hope the stock goes up. When you short a stock, you hope the stock goes down. But the thing about shorting a stock is you're literally borrowing some on shares and selling it. And when a bunch of people short a stock, they're borrowing a bunch of shares and selling it. You know what happens when you sell it and no one is buying the shares? Stock price tanks. Because after the denial of the USPS contract news and there's nothing about it, Everyone just had decreased morale. No one wanted to buy workhorse anymore, and the short sellers absolutely went wild. They went crazy. Currently, roughly 20% of all the shares of workhorse are being shorted. And keep in mind, all these shorted positions must be bought back. The thing is, when workhorse, if they get the USPS contract, guess what happens? A bunch of retail traders will buy in. That will send the stock soaring. And then all the people that shorted the stock and they're most likely betting that Workhorse doesn't get the USPS contract, they have to buy back the contract right away or they'll lose even more money. Because when the stock has suddenly started spiking up, they need to close their positions or else they'll lose a ton of cash. And when you know, when you buy back a stock, stock price goes up. And since 20% of the whole entire sh shares are being shorted, I'm guessing maybe 15 to 18% of those guys will be covering their overall you know, shorts and then the stock price will go up even more. This is why some people say it could be soaring 200% because you have this amazing deal. When the overall deal is worth more than the market cap, we could be seeing a major soar in the stock. And then you add that with the overall short interest and this giant short squeeze, we could be seeing a massive increase for a workhorse stock. It's pretty awesome, honestly. And it's a pretty genius move to short the stock because you feel like you don't think the stock will go up because it won't get the deal. And then it's also a pretty genius move to buy these really far out contracts for literally 53 bucks. If you guys have maybe 50 or $100 and you want a like, lottery ticket play, this is the lottery ticket play that you wanna have. It's honestly pretty crazy. If these guys are successful, they might be able to turn $600,000 to six million and maybe even 12, 15 million dollars if Workhorse gets a contract and shares goes up. But of course, this is a pretty interesting bet. Honestly though, if you guys have a bunch of money, I really do not recommend putting all of your money in Workhorse. If you guys really wanna play, don't put more than 10% of your portfolio in shares or calls because right now there's literally no news about the USPS contract. And there's also chances that Workhorse doesn't get the contract and USPS picks someone's like Ford because Ford actually has a dedicated factory to make these postal trucks, whereas Workhorse is still struggling to scale up. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job. They're trying their best, but I'm afraid it might not be enough. But let's just see what happens. This contract should be announced by the end of the year. And some people say before December 13th. That is the rumor date. And who knows, we may even hear some news around November. But the really crazy thing about Workhorse stock is no one is getting any information. There's no news articles about it. No one is talking anything about it. We don't know what's going on in the company. Like the CEO, there's no Twitter stuff coming out. There is literally no news out for days and days. And then occasionally, you get like a new article per week. That's it. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below. Definitely good luck in the markets.